Okay, you know what? It's time to take a trip down memory lane. We have gotten quite a few fates now, thankfully. We actually did something last time. The save file said that we have 24 fates and we have a lot of guesses on several others. So I think what we need to do now is go through chronologically and figure out what happened. Just the story of the ship, basically. I don't think there's any more... I don't think there's any more, like, new things, uh, new, like, fates we can learn about because if you notice through the book, there's, like, no more empty pages except for the, uh, except for, like, the chapter that we don't have access to yet, so I'm not counting that, obviously. So we're kind of left to just figure out what we can with what we have. So let's start from the beginning. The journey. Atlantic leg of the Far East route. Okay. So they came around Africa. Let's see. Chapter 1. Ah, so they started here, actually. So I'm assuming the plan was to go from Europe to, I guess, the original plan. Yes, I see the the line here. I'm assuming was the original plan to go around Africa, go down south. And But the dotted line is what actually became of it. So chapter one here, chapter two, chapter three is right here around the Canary Islands, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so let's go to chapter one. Let's begin. We have two souls, both of which I believe we have, right? Yes, we've got Sam Peters. His brother was crushed by falling cargo. And... Yes, this is his brother. This is the guy that killed... Lars. We don't know what happened to him yet, I believe. He's he's disappeared. He met an unknown fate. Okay, maybe we can figure him out. So let's bookmark him, and we will go through. Let's go to the last memory that he was present for, and see if that correlates, because I feel like if they are disappeared, they're probably alive, right? What was the last memory that he was present for? His last memory was the tattooed man who we still don't have. Okay. All right, let's go revisit the tattooed man's memory and see if we can spot Nathan because I, I the reason I'm confident it's Nathan is because this is correct. Lars is death. So we we do we know he's Nathan. What happened to him, though? Because he disappeared. So we are going to make our way up to Tattooed Man's death. And replay that one. And see if we can find our buddy Nathan. I know he's not a one-star find, but... You know, what can you do, really? Gotta do chronological order. I think that's going to help us here. Okay, I'm so sorry. I don't know. I literally cannot operate the book. It's like infuriating. Okay, I believe this is Tattooed Man here. Yeah. I believe this is him. Dun -dun. Let's go back. That would be Tattooed Man. Okay. Where is Nathan? We gotta find Nathan here. We're listening to guts being sprayed everywhere all over the ship. Ooh, we've got several people flying overboard here. We don't quite know who they are. I'm just looking for Nathan, really. That ain't him. I don't think that's him either. Nathan looks like he was bald. Do we see a bald man anywhere? Where do we see a bald man? Ah, uh, that's not a bald man. 
That is a bald man. But that's not him. What about you, sir? I think we already checked him. Let us make sure that Nathan is... Yeah, it says Nathan is in this, in this somewhere. But I can't find him anywhere on the ship. So that makes me think that we have to infer that he's one of these three people that was thrown overboard. Unless I'm just blind and he is here somewhere. If he is here somewhere, I'm blind. I don't see anybody else. I don't see anyone up above. I don't think he's any of these people here. So unless I'm blind, I think he's one of he's one of these three people that is overboard. So he was drowned. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I can put that he fell. He fell overboard to his death. I think that's, I, I feel comfortable with that. I don't see him anywhere. Finding him here would like completely debunk that theory. So I'm like, I'm really trying to scour and like look for him around here. And make sure that I'm not just being an idiot and missing him somewhere. That's not him. That is uh, Leonid Volkov, I believe. I don't think that's confirmed yet. Okay, yeah. That's got to be him up there. So we're just going to say that he fell overboard and we're going to move on. Because at this point, I kind of want to just lock in guesses. Because we can always switch them around later. Alright, let's go back to the beginning. We were in chapter one. Okay. We got Samuel Peters. Unidentified stowaway was crushed by a falling barrel. That takes us to chapter two. So we are now still outside Europe a little bit. We have Solomon, who was killed by illness. We have Renfred, who was killed by illness. Then we have the cow that was slaughtered on the deck, and that finishes that chapter. Alrighty, we're at chapter three. We're now out, right outside the Canary Islands. Uh, Nunzio was killed by Nichols. Remember that? Hawksung Lao. He's a one star. We should definitely be able to get him at this point. I still, I've been saying for a while now that there's a possibility that he was dead when he was hanging there already. So that makes me want to say that he was like maybe strangled by Nichols. Maybe axed by Nichols or clubbed. It looked like he, he had been clubbed. But, why well, guess we can go ahead and just look at his memories. Let's follow Hawk Sung Lao. He's present on the cargo deck. I believe this is when he was guarding the room. His next memory is when that guy was dying, the unidentified man. So Nunzio, let us let us go take a look at. Nunzio's death again. I think that is going to be important. We just happen to be right next to Nunzio. Okay, here we are at Nunzio's death. Hawk Sung Lao has clearly been eliminated here. Is he knocked out or is he dead? I, it's, there is blood on the floor. And that appears to be a club. It does make me think that he was killed here. But to be fair, his death replayed the memory of this. So he likely wasn't. So I I, I think we need to go look at the Hawk Sung Lao memory again. Because I think we've only watched that once. So let's go look at... Let's go look at Hawk Sung Lao's death. Because that was a big one. That This is like one of the bigger events. Because a lot of people were present for this one. 
I'm gonna watch this one again. Self confession. Why would he have confessed? As captain of this ship, and by the authority of the East India Company, and thus the Crown of England, I sentence you to death by firing line. By firing line. Mr. Wolf, when you are ready. Mr. Wolf, when you're ready. Ready, men. In. Fire. Okay. So this is when he was killed. So that, I feel like the theory about him being clubbed and being dead already is not going to be correct. He was... He did not shoot himself. Um, who actually killed him, though? Because if we put shot, it's just gonna it's gonna ask us who shot him. I guess we could figure out the bullet path. I guess is that what the game wants us to do here? Which bullet is farthest away? I mean, it would appear like that bullet is the farthest. And whose gun did that come from? Oh, are they missing him? Oh, wait a minute. Did they just all miss? What the heck? These bullets don't even look like they're hitting him. Like that one, if you can see, it looks like it grazed his hand. That one, though, definitely made contact. From him. And we have him. That's Brennan. Right? So would that mean that oh, Brennan was the one that actually, like, killed him for sure? He was shot with a gun by Henry Brennan. I guess we could just try everybody. Do we have him yet? We think that that's Patrick O'Hagan. Maybe he was shot by Patrick O'Hagan. No. Uh, we Do we know him? We don't know him yet. And then we don't know this guy either. That bullet does look like it's the only one that's hitting him. If you stand, this guy, this is Brennan, looks like he was shot right in the back. This guy looks like he missed completely. This guy also looked like he missed, and so did this guy. So I, it's got to be Brennan, right? I, I'm comfortable putting that Brennan is the one that killed him. So we're going to leave that. He was shot with a gun by Henry Brennan. And I think we're good. I think that's all the info I can get from here. I can always come back. That is really neat though, that I get I get to be inside this drawing, literally as it's happening. The artist did an amazing job. <laughs> that's a really cool thing. Okay. Let's continue with him. Uh because we think that we're right about him. Or I think that I'm right. So let's continue on. We have this guy now. Part 3 on the main deck. On your toes. How can you do this? Load her up. We best push off. Let me go. Give her here. Captain. Slack the lifts. Lower the boats. The whole crew will be on us. Give it up. So let us try... We know that he was shot. I haven't been to this guy's uh, like stuff in a while. Let's see, where was he present? He was present... Who is that? He was present for Syed's death. So, let's go to Syed's death. We're really like, what I really need to do is just get everyone and start at the beginning and just follow their journey along the ship. This is probably so hard to follow along with in like, like video. Okay, I think this is the right guy. Yes, okay, so we are looking for... 
this guy here. He is bald. Do we have a bald man anywhere? Is this him? No. He, the guy, we're looking for this guy. Where is he in this? I don't think he's any of these people. Do we have this guy? Who is this? This guy, oh, this probably isn't Patrick O'Hagan, because didn't we determine that this guy is Russian? Right? I think we determined that he was Russian. We'll get to him later. That's not who we're here for right now. So the bald man has got to be one of these guys sleeping in here. I'm still looking for that tat that arm tattoo. Where's that arm tattoo? Where's our lucky Where's our lucky guy with the arm tattoo of the woman? It's in this memory, right? I believe it is in this memory. Somebody's hanging with their arm out. Yeah, yeah, this guy here. Who are you, pal? Oh, 37? Who is 37? Timothy. He's Scottish. So Timothy is our man with the tattoo. So... Could... The guy we're looking for be Timothy? Does this guy look Scottish? I don't know. Let's go to his death. I don't think we've been to his death more than the first time. Okay, and his death is up on the top deck. I believe this is him. No, that's not him. This is him. No, it is not. Wait, where is his death? Where is the guy that we're looking for? Where is bald guy? He is... The corpse was moved post-mortem? What? Is this the guy that we, like... Didn't we get somebody through like a window or something? Is that who this is? Oh yeah, it's him, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, he's dead. Who is this? He looks like he's in agonizing pain. Just kind of looking at everybody. Alright, do we know who this guy is? That is Nichols. Okay, so we can put that in here. He was shot by Edward Nichols. We just don't know who he is, though. We just don't know his name. I mean, he looks bald. Can we tell a nationality here? I mean... He... Uh, he could be Indian, he could be Asian, he could be... I mean, I don't know. Who do we have left here? We do have a lot of these Chinese top men. Uh, I, don't, I don't think he's any of like, the stewards or like the helpers or anything. He's probably one of these. He could be Sierra Leona. Uh, I feel like he's more Indian. Maybe Abraham? I don't know. 
I don't know. We're gonna put him as unknown because we don't we don't know who this guy's name is yet. This is Lim, right? Yeah, that's Lim. This guy is dead. We have this guy. Don't know anything about that guy either. Interesting. Let us move on here. Not quite sure. We're going to move on from that. We did get more information on him, though. We got that he was shot by Nichols, so at least we did something with that. We made some progress. That's better than no progress. We also got that he was shot by Brennan, which I'm like very, I feel very confident about. But then again, I've said that many times about many things. Okay, we're on this chapter now, still by the Canary Islands. This guy. What is this guy's name? He's a three star. So it's, it's going to be harder to deduce him, apparently. Looks like he's one of the sleeping guys. This is who we're looking for, this Topman. Okay. Yep, he was present there. I believe... Yeah, we just saw him at this guy's death. And he was out on the boat. They say, I think the X means that the guy who, like, the guy in question who died is the one who said it. They say strange things about monsters. So does that mean this guy can speak Chinese? I do feel like he is one of these Chinese top men. I'm not sure. Ah, he was. We got it. All right, let's see who we got. We got Hawk Sun Lao, finally, everybody. Oh my gosh. We got Li Hong. I knew he was one of those Chinese top men. And he did, so Nathan Peters fell overboard to his death. So we were right about him being the one who fell overboard. Okay. Some of these ones here that were like kind of brute forcing, I wonder like if there's a genuine way that we can figure it out or if we're like, cause I don't wanna like play the game wrong and like make it less fun by brute forcing. So I'm trying not to do that, but I mean, I knew pretty much everything about this guy except for the fact that, like, I knew he was one of the Chinese guys. I knew how he died. I just didn't know who. So it makes me wonder if I'm supposed to just guess on the name until I get it right. But we'll take it. All right, let's move on. Uh, this guy now, okay. Let's bookmark him. He was killed by a terrible beast. Yeah, he was speared. He was speared. Let's see, what has he been a part of? He was there on the cargo deck when that guy died. Okay. He was present for the stowaway's death. He was sleeping in one of the hammocks. Present for the execution. Present for his murder. And he was out on the ship. What was he doing exactly on the open sea? They were definitely like stealing one of the, or stealing the treasure or whatever. Interesting. Uh, could he be Timothy? 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure what language this is either. That could be. I mean, it looks Russian. So that makes me think that somebody that was out there on the open sea is one of the Russians. We're going to skip this guy for now. I'm not, I'm not too sure about him. Let's move on. We have this guy. We have this guy. How did he die? We're going to have to... We're going to have to go see his death again, I think. We're going to have to go back out on the open sea for him. I think it was Lim's death that he was also killed. Right? Yes. Right? Oh, no. Who are we looking for? Where is he? Oh, it's him. How did he die? Is he speared? Is that what that is? Looks like he has a knife or something in his head. Yeah, he definitely has a knife in his head. I think this guy killed him. So he was, was he stabbed by Itbong? I think he was stabbed by Itbong. Yeah, because that looks like what's happening here. So he was knifed by Itbong. But what is his name? He does, let's see, let's look at his death. It says, Nicholas, sir, shoot them for God's sake. So he could be like Nicholas's assistant, I guess. I feel like, so Nicholas is who? Who is Nicholas again? Uh, or does he say Nichols? He says Nichols, not Nicholas. Okay. Uh, Nichols, Nichols, Nichols. Am I blind? I think I'm blind. It's not on that list. I'm an idiot. Okay, let's go here. Yeah, Nichols is the second mate. So maybe this is like the second mate's assistant. Second mate's steward. Samuel Galligan. Don't know how confident I am with that. Him being Samuel. That's a pretty loose connection there. Him just saying Nichols out aloud like that. I think that's a pretty like weak connection to tie that to that being his name. But uh, it's all I got so far. I do believe he was knifed though by it bung. It bang. I'm not sure how to say that one. Okay. We're going to move on with him, and we'll come back to him later. He is a three-star. We have her. We have him. We have him. Okay, now we have some disappearances. Two wayward souls. They're both three-stars, though. So the calling. Where was this guy last, like, depicted? He disappeared in the calling. So he was out on the open sea. So we may need to go back. Let's go back at Lim's death. Is that who we're looking for? No, we're looking for this dude. Where is he? He looks like he's not even on board. That's not him. That's not him either. That ain't him. Is he even here? Oh. Whoa. Oh no, I thought that was someone under the ship. 
Is he even here? That isn't him. This is not him. We just looked at him. That's not him. I don't think he's here. I think he fell overboard, it looks like. So this guy... I don't know why I put that he was speared. Why... Why did I put that he was speared? Because we're looking for him. Let's say, I guess he drowned. Uh, well, I guess we could just put that he fell overboard. He fell overboard? I guess, would you call it that? He fell overboard? To his death? I don't see him anywhere on here. How would we list his death? This guy. He fell overboard. I guess we could say he was drowned by an uh, by a beast. We'll try and say he was drowned by a beast. He could he might not be that Russian though. He could be Alarkus. And then this could be the other Russian. We may have just mixed up the Russians. Did he fall overboard, maybe? Okay. We'll just leave that as is. Who is this guy? This guy also disappeared. Did he disappear here? Who are we looking for? Who's our bookmarked man? This guy. He's not here. I'm, pr I'm pretty confident. I don't remember him being here. What was he present for? Stop you cheating. Okay, so he was one of the cheating Russians during the card game. The last time he was seen was this guy dying. So he has to be one of the uh he has to be one of the Russians. I think we're right on it, honestly. He could be uh he he also fell overboard. Okay. Maybe we've mixed up their names, because there's only two seamen from Russia. There is a topman from Russia. I guess one of them could be the topman. Let's say that this is Alexei. This is Alarkus. Ah, we did mix up their names. I knew those were the Russians. And we were right about Samuel Galligan. Let's go. I knew those were the Russians. We just had their names mixed up. Seems like a lot of them are just like mixed up names. And if you switch them around, that we're, we're good. I do think that was 30 fates, by the way. So that means we have half of our fates, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want this game to be over. I'm loving this. Literally, all, every time I stop playing, I'm like, when can I get back on? I love this. This is so fun. Thank you, AJ, for recommending me this. I'm loving this game. Anyways, let us continue. Very, very satisfying. I'm glad that I've not like looked up anything so far, because that like would have massively taken away from the experience here. Okay, let us continue. We got the two disappearances. Oh, I knew those were the Russians. Ah, so wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. This guy was a part of something else that we needed him for, right? Let's see. Uh, hmm. No.
Mother of God. Okay, no. Yeah. We don't we didn't need him for anything else. Okay. Where where were we? Let us go ahead and unbookmark this guy. Get him off, and we're going to move to chapter 5 on Holy Captives. We have this guy. Who in the world is this? I don't even really recognize this guy. Apparently he was spiked by a terrible beast. Let's take a look at his memories. He was present for the first death. He was crushed by cargo. He was present for the stowaway's death. He was president for uh, Solomon's death, so that makes me think that he was one of those sleeping guys, which makes me think that he's probably a seaman based on the fact that he was like sleeping in the big common area. So I think it's probably a safe bet to just go ahead and put him as an unknown seaman, even though we don't really know anything about him. The fact that he was sleeping in that like common area is very telling. Uh, ready? Yep, he was present for that. And he died here. He was holding someone captive for whatever reason. Let's go view that death. Let's go view that death. A lot of these I, I only went through once, so I like really need to go back. It's right here, right? This is it, the two bodies. Yes, okay. So yeah, the spear went through both of them. He was... I don't know, is that a spike or is that a spearing? I guess we'll say he was spiked by a terrible beast? Why is he holding this guy captive, though? Who is that guy that he's holding captive? I'm trying to zoom in on the guy he's holding captive. He's holding one of those guys. Can we determine his nationality from the remaining seamen? We have Wales, India, Sierra Leone. I'm going to be honest, I don't know what anybody from Sierra Leone looks like. So he could be from Sierra Leone. I'm not comfortable enough, though, to put that. Um, hmm. All right, let's exit this one. I'm not sure if we can do anything else there. We may have to come back to this guy. Yeah, I think we're gonna I think we're gonna come back to him later. Got the cook. This guy we don't know. Unknown soul crushed by falling cargo. Let's take a look at your first memory. He was one of the sleepers. He was present here. He could be the surgeon's assistant. Just because of the clothes he's wearing there. Because the guy that we currently have for the surgeon's assistant I don't think is correct. Is he? Oh no, he is right. We, we do have the surgeon's assistant correct. Okay, what was this guy's first memory? Yeah, he was a sleeper. Present for the illness. Present for the cattle slaughter. Present for that death. Present for the, like... Death here. Why was he killed by falling cargo? Who is he? Is he just an unknown seaman? 
what what nationality does he look? I have no idea what his nationality looks like. He could be from Wales. Uh, I don't know. We'll leave him unknown. We'll have to leave him. I'm not sure. I'm kind of combing through quickly. This guy. Okay, this guy is a one star. We should be able to get him. Let's let's start with him. He's present for Hawk Sung Lao because he was one of the executioners. He was present for this death with the spiking. Present for the attack by like the arachnid. Present for the death there. Let's see, what was the dialogue during his death? Hold him down, what madness is this? 20 years my steward, and never a doubt on your sanity. Explain yourself. We're gonna go down to this death scene, because the, I remember correctly that there's a lot of dialogue there in that one that I might be able to need to hear again. I might need to hear again. Some of them, there's just a lot going on. Like this one, there's the execution one, where just like a lot happens. There's like a lot of people involved. I believe it was right here, correct? No, it was on the other side. Where? Where in the world? Ah, uh, is it in one of the rooms here? Oh, was it this? I believe it was this. Yeah. Okay, keep pressure here. So keep pressure here, who's saying that? What madness is this? 20 years my steward and never a doubt on your sanity. Explain yourself. These, only go these ungodly beasts carry a curse, throw them back. Tie him up. So this guy looks like he's directing him to tie him up. And this is witch roll. So that would make this guy the captain's mate? Does the captain have a mate? Captain Steward. Philip Dahl, Captain Steward. That makes sense. Because the captain says, 20 years my steward, you're insane. Like, why are you saying this? All's fine, John, been in worse spots, I think. So is he referring to this as John? Saying like, oh, like you're fine, John, you'll pull through. John Naples, seaman. I think that's what's happening here. He's saying like the doctor saying like, ah, oh, you're fine, John, you've been in worse places. I think that's what's happening here. Who is this guy? Oh, this guy. This guy is holding like a rope of some kind. This is somebody that we've been kind of unable to get for a long time. He could be the purser. Uh, maybe he's the midshipman actually. No. We'll leave him as unknown. We'll have to get back to him when it's like his turn. That's William. I am interested as to what like the full story is here on the ship. It seems like they dealt with a Kraken at some point, and then at some point there was some kind of like thing that like infested the ship and was like turning them into the monsters. That's kind of what it looked like.
Okay, I'm comfortable putting him as John. So we're going to move on for now. To our next person. Soldiers of the Sea. Unknown Topman was electrocuted. So we know he was electrocuted because he was struck by lightning. And he has to be one of the three remaining Chinese Topmen. So I feel like we can probably just guess. Which one is he though? Is he Ji, Jie, Huang, or Wei? God, I don't know. Let's see, does anybody like refer to him by name at any point? Well, I don't think they do. Nobody really refers to him by name. Does he have a tattoo by chance? No. He's definitely a topman. We'll have to put him as an unknown topman. Okay. Uh, this unknown topman was strangled by a terrible beast. So what happened to this guy again? I don't think he was strangled. Let's go back to this guy, because I, I remember this guy, and I remember seeing it and, like, having a hard time, like, understanding what actually happened to him. Oh, but this guy says, it says he was strangled. So if he was strangled, then this guy also must be strangled. So he's strangled. Does he look like a Huang? Does he look like a Huang, a Wei, or a Jia? This guy's gotta be Jia. And then we can try another name for the other dude. We can put this guy as Wei. Or maybe Huang. Or maybe this guy's Jia. And then this guy is Wei or Huang. Crap, I don't know. Well, those could have been right. I'm just kind of guessing their names. Okay. This guy we may be, able to, may be able to figure out now. This is the guy who like died behind the walls. Hmm. Yeah, he like was shot through the wall. Oh yeah, this is him. He was spiked by the monster. And then as he was trying to get away, he was like shot through the wall on accident. Somebody was trying to shoot the monster and they shot him. If I can remember how to get back there. How did I get back there? Is it like around the corner? He, oh, what? What the heck? Maybe it's inside the room. Ah, yes. I'm on the right side. I am not on the right side, of course. Let me through. Come on. There we go. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh, we can't get around from here. We gotta go all the way down. Of course. This would be so traumatizing as a detective, just walking through the carnage all the time. Here we go. Here's another death I don't think we've watched more than once. Okay, yeah, so he was shot. Can I get around there? I don't think, I remember I tried to get through here last time and it didn't let me. 
Yeah, conveniently it doesn't. Let's see, what does he look like? He is like a bald man. Is it him? Maybe it's Nathan Peters. That looks a lot like Nathan Peters. He was shot by Nathan Peters, it looks like. He does look like he's kind of hanging out in the back there. He's wearing the same attire as the first mate steward and the second mate steward. So he could be one of the stewards for one of the mates. Is it the fourth mate steward? Maybe he's Paul Moss. No. We'll put him as an unknown steward for now. It does look like Nathan Peters there that killed him. Right? This guy? I'm trying to see like who is present here. What other bald men were present? I guess it could have been this unknown Topman. Doesn't really look like him though. I get. Uh, I guess it kind of does. So it could either be him or him. It does look a lot like. Nathan though yeah I'm fine to put that it was Nathan for now we'll just kind of have that locked in excuse me okay uh, he is wearing the same clothes as the stewards though so that doesn't make me think he's a steward Uh, Wales or England? He looks like he's from England, I think. So that would make him Davy James. I don't know. We'll put unknown steward until we're for sure. Let's take off his bookmark. Okay, Lars, the artist. This guy is supposedly a three star. Torn apart by a beast. He's in a lot of memories. We may be able to get this guy. He was the guy that was like chilling in his bunk. Watching this guy die. So what number was Solomon Syed? Solomon Syed... was 54 so that makes me think that our man in question because our man in question was in the bunk directly next to Solomon so that makes me think he's his number is going to be like close to 54 if you catch my drift so 54 he could be William or he could be Abraham. He looks a lot like an Abraham. I could see that. I don't think he's a Hamado. <laughs> could be Alexander Booth. I don't know. Abraham or William. He looks like an Abraham. Let's stick with it until we're for sure. Let's go back. Let's look at his memories. He was present for Solomon's death. He was present for that. That guy also dying. He was present for the cow's death. Maybe we should look at the cow's death again just to see like what else is going going on in that scene.
That's funny that occasionally we'll get a death that is like just not a person at all. Let's see, what is he doing in the scene? Is he helping here? No. One swing. Get true to skull in stone of rain. I'll cut a troll when you've done it. Here? Yeah. Come on before she kicks off. I think this is our man. Yeah, that's our man. He's hauling. I believe that's Solomon. No, it's Renfred. He's hauling Renfred's body. Never been on a farm, Ah, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So this guy, is this the guy that was... Hold on. This guy... I believe this is the guy that found Solomon dead. Is it? And yeah, he's speaking like Hindi, which would lead this guy to be like Indian. So he could be William. Or he could be Abraham. Which would make this guy William. Maybe they're the three, like, because they're all kind of hanging out together here. Are there any more Indian... Oh, you know what? This guy is wearing like a professional like hat compared to the others so maybe this guy is the ship's steward Zungi and then maybe this guy is Abraham no oh my gosh Renfred Rajab okay let's take a look at the crew manifest here All the Indian people. We've got Solomon, Illness, Renfred, Illness, Abraham and William, and then Zungi. Zungi. So if, it seems like all the people of the same nationality are kind of hanging out. So it would, it would under, it would make sense that these people were Indian, right? He could be William. He could be... What if this guy was Zungi? And what if this guy was Abraham? I'm, I'm on to it there. I'm on to them. This is like the Peters thing all over again. I'm on to them. I don't know who's who, but I'm on to them. They're, they're definitely like the Indian people. How did this guy... Maybe it's the cause of death that was wrong. He, I mean, he's definitely dead from falling cargo, it looks like. What other options does he have to be dead? Crushed? Rigging, I guess? No, crushed by falling cargo. Yeah, I I do think we're on to them with them being Indian because all all of them are hanging out in that picture. We'll leave him be though. John Naples succumbed to a tragic illness. So you're telling me that this is not John Naples? It has a one star rating. Oh, maybe he didn't die from a tragic illness. Because he lost his leg. So maybe he was clawed. Maybe he was clawed. By a terrible beast. He could have been... Crushed by a beast, I guess. Or was he exploded? No... I don't know. Did the what did the beast do to him? Hmm.
Maybe he wasn't referring to him when he said John. Let's go back down. Let's see who else in that memory he may have been referring to when he said John. Keep pressure here. Come on. Who's this? It's the sergeant. Could this be John, maybe? There were two Johns. I don't think he succumbed to a tragic illness. I just don't know what happened to him. What other, what other memories was he present for? Maybe we can find what happened to his leg. He was present for the cargo death. Oh no. It looks like the sword. Oh, you know what? Maybe he was sorted. Maybe he was sorted because like he was infected or something. And that's why they're hauling that guy away because he like sorted him. So this is... Who is the guy that's being dragged away right now? It's the Captain Steward. Philip. This guy is probably John Naples. And he was killed with a sword by the Captain Steward. That's what it looks like happened, right? Do you see my thinking process here? Oh my gosh. I just want him. I want the guy on the floor. Give me the guy on the floor. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's not zooming in on the right person. There we go. Yeah. So that is definitely a sword. I I think we're on to I think we're on to something with this. Yeah. John Naples is killed by a, with a sword by Philip Dahl. Maybe he was knifed by Philip Dahl? No. Axed by Philip Dahl? Uh... No, he was knifed by Philip Dahl. Okay, I feel good about that. Let us move on. Okay, we're gonna move on from him, see if we can get some others. Unknown Topman, man, I, I know he's one of these three people, I just don't know who he is. Dang it, man. We just need more info, and we need a few other ones to be right. Mead Gull, I don't know. I guess. Another soul was shot by a gun. 
Is that John Davies? He is wearing the steward's clothing. I believe. So we'll put an unknown steward, because I do think that guy's probably a steward. This guy... Okay. This guy's a one star. Christian, let's look at the one st what the rating is. Deduction ratings. Let's see. Is that just for their names? Their identities? Well, I know his identity. I just don't know who killed him. Because this is, this is one of the first ones that we saw. Where he was, like, blown up on accident. Right. Yeah, this guy was killed. This is one of the Indian guys, I'm pretty confident. I'm going to just put that he's Abraham. And I'll say that he was blasted by Abraham. No. We could try William, I guess. And maybe he's William. No. God, man. Let's go view his death. That's one that we should probably refresh our memories on. Starting to learn I should not play this game late at night. My brain is not working at full power. I believe that's it there. Yeah, they got absolutely wrecked by this cannon. Yeah, he was, like, exploded. He was... Yeah, he was shot by a cannon. Wait a minute. Where's the second guy that got crushed by the cannon? Who's this? There's our tattooed man. There's Brennan. Unknown Topman. And then our good old friend here with the 50 jobs. So I'm counting one, two, three, four, five people present right now for this guy's death. Let's see, I'm counting five people present for his death. Yeah. Four others were present. Hmm. That kind of startled me, actually. I wasn't sure what that sound was. This unknown soul was blasted by a cannon. Let's 
Do we know who this guy is? We need to figure out who their attacker is. It's this guy, man. This freaking guy. I guess he could be Omid. I don't know. Lewis. Ugh. Was he actually killed by the cannon, though? Or built, killed by the beast? Where is he? I've forgotten where that guy is. Ah, here. What's actually happening to him here? He's getting eaten by the beast. And then we go to the very next memory. Oh, whoa, who's this? So what is actually happening to him? Is he being torn apart by the beast or was he just crushed by the cannon? There was only one body here. Maybe that, maybe this guy wasn't blasted by a cannon. Maybe he was like somehow spared. I think that's who we were just looking at. Yeah. Maybe he was crushed by a terrible beast because he's like being like thrown up against the wall like that. Crushed by a beast. William, I still think he's, yeah, he could be Zungi. I don't think he is though, I think he's Abraham. Let's try that and then let's say he was killed by Abraham. Right, no. Killed by William, and let's say he was William. Dang it. Ugh. I have no idea. Maybe, oh, maybe he was just crushed by the cannon. Crushed by a loose cannon. And then we could say it's kind of difficult to tell exactly what they want from the death. And then we could say he was crushed by Abraham. Alright, let's try William. Hmm. No. We'll say he was crushed by the beast. All right, yeah, let's get out of this memory. That guy is really agitating me. I don't know who he is. Obviously. Okay. We'll move on. This guy is supposedly only a two star to figure out his memory. Who is he hanging around in the picture? He's hanging out by a bunch of topmen. Looks like who all is up there in the top of the picture? All like these different topmen. It looks like so that makes sense for him to also be a topman. nationality is he is he Scottish 
Maybe he is the tattooed arm? No. I don't think he's Chinese, so he's Persian or Scottish. He's probably Omid. I don't know. Let's see what happened to him. He is one of the sleepers. Interesting. I don't know. They're literally giving us no information for this guy, like, to figure out his name. Let's see. Mabo, where did you disappear to? I feel like that guy's got to be Mabo, right? Alright, let's go to the explosion memory and see if we can find where Mabo is. Because this is the last memory that he was a part of before he was... Uh... Like before he disappeared. Alright, Mamba, where are you? Did you fall overboard, Mamba? Uh oh, we got somebody there. So five others were present, so we've got. Mamba and this guy. There's Tattoo Guy. There's him. There's him. And him. And then, so it looks like Maba fell overboard. We have another. Yeah, that's him. So Maba fell overboard. If that is Maba, I mean, that would make sense. I guess he could be Omid from Persia. He could be Omid or Maba. That just he looks like, I mean, the nationality, like Omid or Maba. Maybe our tattooed man is Maba. I don't think so. I think that's Omid. I feel like he's Omid, and I feel like he's Maba. We'll put that for now. We do know he fell overboard, though, so that that's good. We did get information. It, there was there was a point in us like coming back to this memory. If we can get any information, however like small or large, it's helpful in the long run. Okay. Remove all bookmarks. This guy, what happened to him? It says it's supposed to be hard to identify him. If I can get back to the page that I was on. Right. Alright, bookmark. Okay, let's see, what was his last memory before his disappearance? Because that usually tells us what happened to them. His last memory before his disappearance was Tattooed Man's death. So let's look for Tattooed Man's death again. Okay, so we're looking for our man. There are three people that fell overboard. So I bet you he's just another guy that fell overboard. I bet you that's what it is. He's just another one of the nameless people that fell overboard. Who is the person on the ship? Let's check the glossary. The person on the ship that deals with like the weapons or whatever. Gunner? 
I feel like this guy's the gunner because he's like throwing a gun to that guy. Ah, uh, no, but Christian Wolf is the gunner. I don't know. We're getting distracted. The guy that we're looking for currently is who we need to be focused on. This guy. Uh, this guy here. I believe he fell overboard. Alright, this guy. What is his last memory? Before his disappearance. Is it this one that we're currently in? It is. Okay, well that makes me think that he probably also fell overboard. Let's see. Okay. All right, this guy met an unknown fate because he disappeared. All right, what is his last memory before being disappeared or before disappearing? It's the next one, okay? It's Abigail's death. So let's get out of here and get to Abigail's death. So I think we're we're piecing together a lot of like cause of deaths, but we're not piecing together names, and that's what we need to be piecing together. Let's go to Abigail. All right. So who are we looking for again? We're looking for. This guy, this unknown topman. Oh, is this this guy losing his arm? So he was what he was. I do feel like this guy's the bosun. So maybe just his cause of death. What's wrong? It's not actually his identity. No, I mean, who else would he be? I guess maybe the midshipman or the helmsman. I don't think he's the helmsman. Maybe the purser. God, I don't know what else he could be. I'll put him as unknown. We'll just say he was torn apart, though. See, we're still looking for our guy. We have no idea who this guy is, do we? Yeah. He's supposed to be a one star somehow. That guy, part of this guy has been a nuisance since the beginning, if I remember. Like, we haven't known him for a long time. I 
I do think he's Paul. Because they said Paul look out, so it would make sense. And he's being killed by... Leonid, if we're right about that being Leonid. I think that's, I think that is Leonid, who he was killed by. He says, oi, though. It could be like a Scottish thing. Maybe the woman said, oi. Where is our guy? Ah, there he is. So yeah, he's definitely dragged overboard. He was... He fell... No, he... Was drowned by a beast. Uh, he probably just fell overboard. Did he fall overboard though to his death? What's exactly happening to him here? I mean, he's obviously being pulled overboard by the monster. So I don't know what cause of death that that qualifies as. Uh, we'll just say he fell overboard. We're gonna go to that. We're gonna go to that guy's death, Paul, quote unquote. Whether or not that's actually Paul, we'll find out. All right, quote unquote, Paul. Move quick. So he said, oi. I do feel like he's Russian. I feel like that is Leonid, though. Oh, uh, he could be. Does he have the tattoo? He does not have the tattoo. I can't really see his arm, though. I feel like that we can probably guess these women's names. They're both passengers. And there's only two female passengers. Emily Jackson and Miss Jane Bird. Unless she is Emily Jackson. Ah, oh, she is Emily Jackson. Goodness me. So, okay, so who did we get correct? Emily Jackson, okay. We were right about Wei Li, so we did just guess one of the Chinese men's names. Okay, so we were right about Paul Moss. Okay, Th there's a lot of guessing involved here. Like, I can narrow it down to the fact that it's like one of two women, but I don't, I don't have a sp like specific way to know that she is Emily Jackson. I just like kind of try both names. So because the other one was Emily Jackson, she has to be uh, the other lady. She has to be Miss Jane Bird. There's no other women. And then this guy is confirmed Leonid. And who was he killed by? Can we see who he was killed by? This is the surgeon. So is he shot by the surgeon? Mm 
No. Let's let's see his death. Let's see if we can figure out who Leonid. Now that we have confirmation that he is Leonid because of Paul's death, because this guy is Paul and it said he was stabbed by Leonid and it was correct, so that guy has to be Leonid. I think this is Leonid, right? His death. Yeah, so who shot him? This is Miss Emily Jackson, right? Sure is. So he was shot by... Emily... Jackson. Leonid was shot with a gun by Miss Emily Jackson. That's confirmed, I believe. Yeah, I mean, that, that one has to be right. So that's all the information I believe that we can get. Who's this guy? Tell Pete's mother I tried to save him. Who is Pete? Let's go to the crew. Peter Milroy. He was the guy that blew up. So who is Peter Milroy standing next to in the photo? Is this the other midshipman? Is this Timothy? Does he have the tattoo? That could be Timothy. He could be the other midshipman. Or Thomas, sorry. This guy definitely is dressed like an officer. Let's see if we can figure out this guy. Let's check the glossary for a second. What is the purser? Accounts for cargo and trade transactions. So, in his death, the dialogue says we take we trade for gold. So maybe he's the purser. So this guy was stabbed by the purser. Guy does look kind of Scottish. He could also be the bosun, I suppose. Uh, I don't know. We're gonna put it as unknown. Okay. We know that one up there is right, though. We know Leonid was killed by Miss Emily Jackson. Alright, what else do we have here? What other completed ones do we have? We have John Naples, who is knifed by Philip Dahl, I believe. I believe that one is right. Shot with a gun by E. Jackson. 
Okay, so this is probably not Maba. Because then, because it would have been right. This is probably not Omid. So let's go ahead and get that chapter. Let's go ahead and get these guys' names. Like, put back as unknown. That's probably unknown. And then Maba is also unknown. I guess he could be Zongi. No. Put him as unknown Topman. Okay. Let's go back to the crew. Put this as unknown as well. Where is Miss Jane Bird? Is she not Miss Jane Bird? Is there another woman? Well, if Miss Emily Jackson is arrive in Africa, oh, alive, arrive, why would she not be alive in Africa? Let's look at his death again and see if something happened to him. There she is down there. What's happening to her down there? I can't really see what's happening to her. What if we go down here? Can we look through the window? Not really, no. Hmm. I mean, it would make sense for her to be alive in Africa. Is she not Miss Jane Bird? She has to be. So yeah, that doesn't make sense. That that one should be right. Because she's the only other like woman passenger and there are no other female names on board. Let's take a look. So let's fact check ourselves. So we have Miss Jane Bird alive in Africa. Leonid shot by Emily Jackson. John Naples knifed by Doll. So that means, so we know that this is right, Leonid. And we're like 99% sure that Miss Jane Bird is alive in Africa. So that means that this guy is wrong. John Naples knifed by Philip Doll. He was knifed by a shoe, a steward. So let's just go to where he was killed and see who was present. That many people were present at the death? Eighteen others were present? Twenty years, my steward. Maybe he just isn't John. I guess we can just try all the different seamen. That doesn't make sense, though. Ah, he was killed with a sword. He wasn't knifed. That's what it was. We had him as knifed. So the name was right. Ah. The cause of deaths are tricky, man. Because it's hard to tell sometimes exactly what happened to them. 
We are filling up this book. Oh my gosh. Okay, did that clear anybody up for us? That information. Where is Philip Dahl? Whatever kind of became of him. It's like kind of unknown what happened to him. Can we bookmark his memories? Yeah, let's see what ha let's see where else he is. This is the last time he was seen. So he's probably going to be in the chapter that we have locked. Because he says throw him in the lazarette. And if we go to the chapter that we have locked, it says in the lazarette. So he's probably going to be there. Who is this? I don't remember this at all. This guy. So his last memory that he was present for was Leonid's death. So let's check Leonid's death and see if we can find him. Is he on the boat with everybody else? Oh, he's here. So he's probably on the boat with them. So he's probably alive in Africa. Who in the world is that, though? First mate. First mate. Second mate. Third mate. This is probably the fourth mate, then. Which would make him... Probably the fourth mate's steward. Which would make him the fourth mate. Who was he clubbed by? I can get back to him, that'd be great. When when was he killed? And where? Oh, he was killed in that little scuffle downstairs. Let's get back to that memory. Let's get downstairs. Is this it right here? Yes. Okay. And this is Brennan. So we can put that he was killed by Brennan. He was clubbed by Henry Brennan. Makes sense, right? Maybe he's Martin. Maybe he's not Brennan, maybe he's Martin. Well, wait a minute, is he present for Abigail's death? Because Abigail yells out Martin. He is not present for Abigail's death. So, let's find Abigail. Where are you? Where are you, Abigail? There she is, I saw her. There. So, that is Martin. Or this is Martin. I guess this could be Martin. Let's let's do some trial and error and see if this is Martin. 
which would mean that this guy got stabbed by Martin. Do we have three guesses locked in yet to see if that's correct? Uh... I don't think that's Martin. I think that the guy is more likely John. I think that Martin is probably this guy here. And I think that John is probably him. The fourth mate, Steward. Would make sense to be him. Because he's kind of like nearby him. Okay. There is one more guy that I would like to look at. <clears throat> and it is the guy that has the freaking arm torn off. This dude. We have not known this guy for a really long time. Put me down. Let go. Easy now. In a bad way. It's the squid. Where is my Frenchman? The squid's gone. Your mate is torn apart. This, where is my Frenchman? So he, so he has to be the bosun because the bosun's mate is from France. I feel like ah, he is the bosun. Oh my goodness! So we were right. It was just his cause of death. And we were right, that is John. So we were we were right just now. So we had this guy right the whole time, we just didn't have the right cause of death. And we were right about him being the fourth mate steward because they were nearby each other. It's getting easier and easier. Oh my gosh, the list is so full. Okay. So this guy was knifed by John Davies. That's got to be right, right? He was knifed by the fourth mate. I guess he might not be Thomas Lank. That's probably the issue here. He's probably not Thomas Lank. Let's see if we can figure out what his name is. Because we know he was knifed by John Davies. So the fact that it hasn't been right yet. Says that that's not his name. Finally, we got the bosun. So I'm starting to realize that a lot of the ones that we had right previously, they we had their name identified, we just didn't have the right cause of death because of the wording. Like, the whole time I had that he was clawed by the beast, when in reality it was torn apart by the beast. I guess I'm just overthinking it. I guess what I just don't understand is why he was knifed by the by the fourth mate. Let's see. Don't leave me. Tell Pete's mother I tried my best. Oh, no, you're cut. Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. T tell Pete's mother. I, I tried my best. I To pull him back to save him. You tell him yourself. <laughs> Brennan! Bring the surgeon's kit! So what was Peter? He was a midshipman? That's why I thought that he was also a midshipman. I don't see a tattoo on his arm anywhere, so I don't think he's Timothy. I wonder if that's actually going to be a clue or not. Is 
Mm. I feel like he's the midshipman. But I don't have, like, confirmation on that. Oh, that was an accident. I did not mean to put that guy as Philip. I know that this guy is Philip. Where is Philip? That was a misclick. Okay. Why did the fourth mate stab him, though? That's what I'm trying to follow. figure out who killed this guy now with the information that we have yes this is John Davies so we can put that he was killed by John Davies and I think he's the purser I'm confident enough in that that I'm gonna leave it which is mean that he was stabbed Sir, he was stabbed by the fourth mate. All right, we need to go back a little bit. Actually, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, what room was he crawling to? We've already thought about that in a past like play session, I think, but I had forgotten. He's crawling for the midshipman room, so he has to be a midshipman. He has to, so that kid has to be the one of the midshipmen. This this kid has to be Thomas Lank. Okay. So who knifed him again? We need to go back and find exactly when he was knifed to make sure we have the right person. Okay, let's go up to his death and see if we can go down there while it's happening. Let's go down here. Okay, it's a little bit too early. So we need to go one more past that. So we could go to his death. Next. Yeah. Okay. Now we should be able to see what happened to Thomas. Yeah, so it's definitely this guy that stabbed him. And we think that this is the purser. I don't know who this guy would have been. Who else could he be? I guess he could be the helmsman. Maybe he's the helmsman because of that hat. No, that guy has to be the purser, I feel like. Okay, so how many guesses do we have here? Do we have three guesses in? We only have two guesses in so far. Maybe we can guess on the Chinaman. 
that were made. Let's pull up the journal. I think we can guess on the two other Chinese guys because we kind of know what happened to them. We just have to find them. Uh, This unknown Tommen, I mean, he has to be one of these two guys. Jie Chong. And this guy would be Hong Li. Or maybe this guy is Jia Zhong. And he's Hong Li. Dang it, man. I just need something here. We don't know a lot about this guy either. How did this guy die again? I don't even really remember this guy so much. What happened to him? Apparently he was present for this. Present for Abigail's death. Let's see if we can get to Abigail's death and see what happened to that guy. I haven't put his Olus from like a really long time ago, I remember. I don't know if that's right or not. We may have to revisit him a little bit. Alright, Olus. Where are we here? He's defending the bosun, so maybe he's the bosun's mate? And what happened to him? Does it show his death? Oh, he disappeared. It says he disappeared in the doom. This is his last, like... I guess we could say he's... Alive in Africa? No, I don't know. Maybe he fell overboard. He did. How are we supposed to know that though? That he fell overboard? Because he was on he was on board there. Yeah, he fell overboard. Look at that. Ah, uh, we were right about the Chinamen. There they are, Jia Zhong and Huang. We were right about the Chinamen. I mean, again, it's one of those things where it's like I knew it was, I mean, they had to be the remaining two guys from China. It was just a matter of, a matter of, you know, like who is left. See, and we only, so this guy I feel like is a topman, but we only have a few topmen left. So there's only like a, like a lot, a couple logical like explanations. He doesn't really look New Guinea. He could be English. He could also be Scottish. Wait a minute. Is that something on his arm there? Hold on. Is that, is that a tattoo on his arm? Because that would make him Timothy. Which works conveniently. I do think that the other guy there is Maba. We need to find Maba, or who I believe is Maba. I think this is Maba. And I think the tattooed guy might be Omid. Hmm. Maybe he's the helmsman.
Who is this tattooed guy? Is he just a random, like, seaman? I feel like that ha this has to be Maba. I don't know who else this would be. Maybe he's Omid. I don't know. I'm going to leave him as Maba. Oh, this guy has his hand on the wheel, so he's got to be the helmsman. And he probably fell overboard. Seems like everybody that is, like, unknown in this chapter has probably fallen overboard. Let's see if we can find him here. He's supposed to be in this memory somewhere. Oops, happy we uh, are making progress. Is he on the wheel? Hmm. He's supposed to be here, right? I'm talking about this guy. He's in two memories. He's in this memory. He does have his hand on the wheel, which makes me think he's the helmsman. That's the only th reason that I think that. He, apparently he's also present for Abigail's death. I don't see him anywhere, though. We're in Abigail. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There he is. So he was... Torn apart by Beast? No. Okay, what's happening to him? He's being pulled overboard. So maybe he was like, uh, he fell overboard. He was eaten by a beast? No. He was... Um... Drowned by the beast? I mean, he's clearly being pulled overboard. What did we put for this guy? Because he's in a similar situation, kind of. He was torn apart by the beast. So I guess we'll just say he was likely torn apart by the beast. Okay. That's good enough for me. Okay. You know what? Maybe... Uh, oh, I just had a revelation. For Christian Wolf's death, the guy that got, like, blown away by the cannon fire, there was a second man with him. Here. This is Christian Wolf. I bet you this is Olus. I bet you this is Olus because he's the gunner's mate. We still don't know who this guy is. Like I, like I said, I'm pretty sure that he's one of these Indian guys. So let's say that he's Abraham. Once again. Or we'll say that he's William, I'm sure. No, he's unknown.
Hmm. We need to figure out who this guy is. Figuring out who this guy is would lead to like several more like discoveries. So it's kind of imperative that we figure out who he is. I knew it. I knew he was Abraham. I freaking knew it. Oh my god. I knew it. And he was the helmsman. Oh my god, that was satisfying. I it dawned on me that I had him that him on screen now. I had him selected as Abraham, but I didn't have the other guy selected. Uh as William. So it wouldn't have gone through because I don't think I had another guess. God, bro. Oh, finally. Okay. You're Abraham. I knew he was Abraham. He looks like an Abraham. Even if he wasn't Abraham, I knew he had to be William because, again, it was the two Indian guys here hanging out with the other Indian guys. So he was shot with a cannon by Abraham. And Gunner was shot with a cannon by Abraham. Oh my gosh, okay, finally. I knew he was Abraham, I knew it. I just, yeah, it dawned on me, I was like, I, I, I had him selected as Abraham, but I didn't have the other guy selected, and I only had two out of three guesses. I see it now. He was, so who is this? Okay, uh, do we have anybody else? Okay, this is clearly... That officer dude is clearly not Duncan McKay. This is clearly not Duncan. We have no idea. Uh, well, maybe he is. I just don't quite... I don't think he is Duncan. So we're going to put him as unknown temporarily. We're gonna go back to the crew so I can see where the heck we are currently. thinking sorry let's look at the crew again who do we have left we have the ship's steward let's take a look at the crew again because we only have a few people now that are like not named could he be the ship's steward could he be zungi I don't think so. Who is this guy? He does kind of look like he's dressed as a steward. I guess he could be the ship's steward. 
He doesn't look Indian though. This guy could be the ship steward. That guy is probably Zongi. Who is this though? So logically, who would he be? Because he's down there, like near all the captains and whatnot. He could be. He probably is just a random guy. We need to get these two guys. I'm going to look at his death again, because I don't understand that why- So he gets blown up, right? Where's the other guy? Because there was a second guy with him that was like gripping the cannon. Oh, he's flying overboard. Did he get grabbed by the Kraken? Maybe he got grabbed by the Kraken instead of being torn apart by the beast. Let's let's get out of this memory and take a look. Because here, when the cannon is going off, only Christopher Wolf is there. The second dude is not. It looks like he's flying out the window. And I'm trying to figure out why he's flying out the window. Is it just because he got launched by the cannon fire? Or is it because... It does look like the monster is like, coming and grab him. So we might be able to say that he was... Drowned by the beast? Uh... I know, I, I do think he was shot with a cannon. Maybe they're considering it the, uh... Beast that shot them with a cannon. No, it was Abraham that did it. The beast didn't light the cannon. God, that was haunting, that little scream that echoed. Hmm. Not quite sure. Let's exit this memory though. So where are we at the moment? We are in a good position. I think we have 45 or maybe more than 45 souls. I'm not confident that that is Zongi. Not super confident that that's Maba either. We're at an interesting position here. I'm not. I'm not quite sure where to go next. We could just have this wrong somehow. He was definitely blasted by a cannon. This might not be Olus. He could be. He could also be someone else. Maybe that's the issue. Maybe he's just like somebody else. He could just be a random like guy.
Mm -mm. I feel like he is Olus. Oh, I'm so satisfied to finally get Abraham. That guy could just be a regular old seaman. He could be Alexander Booth or George George Shirley. What happened to him? He was speared by a terrible maybe he was just spiked by a terrible beast. Nah, he was definitely speared. this guy where's his death Where did this guy die? Oh, he's the leg. All right, we'll take one last look at this. He says. Hmm. This guy looks like he could be Persian. No, I don't know. We're going to put unknown. I'm like spending too much time trying to just guess people's races and that's not working for me, it seems. I need a different strategy. It's time to put our thinking caps on because this is starting to get tough. This will not defeat us, though. We covered a lot of ground. We are at a bit of a we are a bit of at a stuck spot, but we are gonna overcome. Let's just look at the back cover for motivation. Look how many that is. I'm not sure. I'm gonna take some time, recollect about the game, re reconvene what my thoughts are in a more energized place. I do feel good about these two though. I'm not gonna rest until I know this guy's identity. This is killing me. I swear I will get this tattooed man if it's the last thing I do. Freaking employee of the month. God, I hate this guy. I'm looking forward to make this unknown soul a known one. 